Skills USA is definitely something that I think everybody, you know, if they had the chance to be involved with it or if they weren't sure about it, I think they should definitely look into it and really, you know, maybe check it out and see what it can do for them, you know. It's something that it's not just going to impact your life just for a competition. It's going to change it for your career. Skills USA for me was not only a means to continue uh, to motivate myself to get better, but also a, a way to network and to get my name out there. Um, I've now proved at this point that I'm good enough to represent the country welding and uh, employers like to see that. Instead of being kind of, I guess, average Joe, it puts you on a little higher pedestal of level of your ability. So just that little niche above everybody else kind of gets you the spotlight as far as employers and, oh man, he might have a little bit more skills than this guy over here. I actually took classes here at Washtenaw Community College and I had Glenn Kay as an instructor. It was like my first couple classes. And you know, he had mentioned, you know, hey, you know, you put a lot of time into this, would you be interested in, you know, in being involved in the Skills USA program? I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. You know, what, what is this Skills USA? I've never heard of it, you know, all throughout high school, was never, never introduced to it, you know. And he's like, oh yeah, it's something you should really, really, really look into. Sure enough, you know, I had signed up for it and worked through the state level, went on to nationals, and eventually was selected to be the uh, candidate for the 2009 World Skills event in Calgary, Canada. And there I actually took second after a, a long, long week of intense competition. So it was, it was a good run and it was a lot of fun and I, I don't regret one minute of it. Uh, I started competing in high school, to, so through a high school instructor. We competed in Skills USA competition. And then when I competed at post-secondary level is when I basically made my run at things, like something changed. And that's when I took number one in the state of Michigan. And I went to nationals where I placed sixth. And that was high enough to get me into the collection of welders that they take for the pre-trials. And I was selected as the final six to go to Atlanta, Georgia. And then from there, I made the top three to go to Kansas City, where I took first out of those three guys to go to London in 2011. I heard about Skills USA when I was in high school. My teacher told me about it and told me I should think about competing. So I did. Um, I made it to nationals. I uh, won nationals and then continued on through the international pretrial process where I lost the first time through. That was in 2012. And again, that I, I wanted to make it. I wanted to make it to the world level. I'd come this far, so I decided to do it again. And I made it through again to the Daytona 500 where I won the right to represent the country. I'll be competing in Leipzig, Germany at the World Skills Competition. The scholarship, you know, I kind of looked into it and it was a $40,000 scholarship, you know, to pursue your, your education. I was like, wow, you know, that's a lot of money. So I ended up winning, you know, the silver medal in Calgary, which entitled me to receive that $40,000 scholarship. That $40,000 scholarship changed, you know, my career pathway tenfold. The scholarship has taken my life in a whole new direction as far as education and furthering myself as an individual. For somebody who didn't really know where to go, it's definitely put some things in front of me that, yeah, I can go and do those things now. Like, yeah, I can go to school longer. And just with that education I'm receiving from it is making me extremely valuable to a lot of different companies, pretty much the whole welding industry as a whole. Uh, school is something that I knew I had to go complete. Um, school's expensive, though, and now uh, this $40,000 is my key to to continue that on stress-free and debt-free. But um, scholarship money doesn't just come from the world level competitions too. I want a scholarship at every single Skills USA event I've ever been to. So not only did I not do I not have to pay for school now, but as I was coming up and taking classes through Washtenaw, every time I showed up at a Skills USA event, I got scholarship money. So just being involved in Skills USA can pay for your school. 
And I think the best part about it was is I got to meet some very unique and really important people in the, in the process of doing that, which is something that, you know, not too many people ever, you know, get the opportunity to do or ever be even exposed to something like that, you know, is very rare. So I cherish that whole, you know, role in that whole time period of my life, you know, with high, I hold it up to a high standard. I really liked it a lot. If I could do it again, I would, you know. And I think that anybody that does Skills USA, no matter how far they get, you don't have to make it to the world level to prove that you're a good welder in Skills USA. You just have to prove to employers that you're motivated to dedicate yourself to something. And people like to see that. So SkillsUSA has done that for me and it will do it for anybody that competes as well.